Hey everybody, I'm Zach. This is Smirkadabur and welcome back to Academia School Simulator. We have so much money. So, first thing we need to do is we need to rezone. So we've got classroom zoning here and we want freshmen on this side. Um, so zone edit, remove zone. Um, remove zone, wait, remove zone. Okay, so freshman here and freshman here. Sophomore here and sophomore here. Juniors both on this side. Seniors both on this side. I love it. Now, we want to, um, we want to eliminate some chairs. Uh, so objects dismantle. We want to eliminate, I think this, no, no, we, we need all the classrooms, um, to have the same amount of, of chairs in them. So these all have 30 chairs. So we want to eliminate it this way. And now they all are going to have 30 chairs. Um, we now need to hire some teachers for these other classrooms. So, let's go to staff um, degree here. And we need some new teachers. Hire some new teachers. I want to find more teachers. Give me some, three, some more three-star teachers, dude. Chris Hanbun, you're hired. Carol Haverstock. You're hired. Dr. B. Lapa. She's a she's got a doctorate, dude. But it it says she's only got a master's degree. What's going on here, Dr. B. Lapa? I think you're lying on your resume here. Alright. I'd like to find more. Oh yeah, Brent Ogle. You're hired. Don Unterreiner. You're hired. Tristan Angeles. You're hired. We need one more. One more teacher, Hisako Voita. You're hired. All right, so now, Pablo Jose Cruz, I want you to only teach language to one and two, okay? Um, and for math, 99. Um, so who has got a very high language score? 94, 91. How about my new guys? Um, another 99 language? Dude, welcome. And you are only teaching three and four. Perfect. Now, math. You've got a 99 in math. How's my pool look? 99, 99, 99. Oh, no. 74. I, I think I might have been looking at it wrong for language, too, and I was. Um, Chris Hoburn, get out of here. <laughs> All right, language, 98, 99. Dude, you've got 98 in three things? That's crazy. All right, Hisako, assign. And Hisako, again, you're only teaching three and four. All right. Athos Julia, you noticed well before I did. Well done, well done. All right, now, onwards to math. Vlad Tahuni, you have 99 in math. How are we doing up here? A 98 is the best we have. But a 96 is pretty good, but you've got a 99 in science. So you're assigned to math. Tristan Angeles. Science? Uh, what? Who was it that had... There we go. 99 in science. History. 85 is the best we can do. That's fine. Art. 81, a sign. And you are perfect for phys ed, Miss Carol Haverstock. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, now, Carol Haverstock just teaches uh, three and four. Ryan Sumo, one and two. Um, Brent Ogle, you are teaching three and four. Josh Matthews, one and two. Drew Journal. One and two. Chris Hanbun, three and four. I love it. 
Don Unterreiner, you will teach... Actually, Don Unterreiner, I want you to teach one and two. And you, sir, I want you to teach three and four. You're not as good, but if we start them off strong, then maybe they'll continue through. Tristan Angeles, you can teach three and four. And Vlad Tahuni, you can teach one and two. Now, I just want to double check all of these. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Good. 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 And good. Now. Ha. Huh. Don Belante. What are you're not really very good at much. Find me more teachers. Um I I would like someone that has a high score in art. Like, I feel like our art teachers are not ideal. And um this guy has actually gotta go. Your science is 98, great. Rhett Pacella, you're fired. Isidro Sopzak, you're hired. And welcome, sir, to the science department. Um, and you will be teaching three and four. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's uh, build these bathrooms back. And these sinks. These sinks as well. Um, these trash cans. Trash can? Trash can. Yep, I love it. And we want to build a wall just like this one. But instead of um, all toilet stalls, of course, we want to use this for urinals. No, I think we I changed my mind there. We want to put urinals here and urinals here. And then we want to put toilet cubicles here. Yeah, that's great. That's really good. All right, and now we can mark that as our male toilet. Um, great. So that solves a lot of bathroom problems. Now, next we want to make sure that we get a kitchen going. And the kitchen... Is gonna be like so. And... The door to the kitchen... Um... Is going to be right... Staff door, of course. It's gonna be right here. Now... More tables for the cafeteria. Um, we can do them like this. Yeah, I like that. I like that a real lot. And we could even fit in a couple more tables here. But it would get quite cramped. Um, but it's not the worst thing, actually. I think we leave it open for now. I like this nice open setup that we got going on here. All right, and now we need a uh, build, we need flooring, we want kitchen tile. Right here and here. And objects in the kitchen include double kitchen sinks. It's actually a little bigger than the other kitchen, which is nice. Um, refrigerators, of course. Uh, it's not... Well, it is. It's exactly the same, actually. Um, and then stoves. Um, you know what? Clear those. Put in a third refrigerator. And then put in stoves all across the bottom here, along with here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And now we need to staff up. Um, some more cooks. Some more janitors. And a couple more monitors, probably. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. We could probably stand to have another counselor, too. Now, 
we've got another space for a cafeteria here for when we expand again. And we will. New classrooms for more dosh. The income is rough because we don't have the students. We fix that by bringing in transfer students. And we can bring in 25 of each kind of student. It's going to take a couple of days. But they'll get in. Thank you for reminding me. So yeah, this is going to fix our income problem big time. It's going to take two days to do it. So I don't think we can spend any more money now, unfortunately. But um, I think we can get started. Let's go. And last thing I'm going to do is... Uh, yeah, we were dismantling these chairs. We're getting money back by doing that. We also just got a lot of money for some reason. Um, and we're going to apply for this school expansion 200. Because we are easily going to have 200 students. I am going to install a double door right here. Okay. Ah. For now as well, uh, we could use a new common room. Because that's where recess happens. Um, oh, shoot. Pause, please. Uh, we need to zone our stuff. We need to zone our kitchen. And we need to zone our cafeteria. And uh, that's it, I think. Yeah, let's go. All right. Yeah, we need a uh, we need some more play space. We need some more common rooms for recess time. Um, dude, you know what? You know what we need to do. We need to pause. We need to change our schedule. We want, um... No, I want them to be different. That's okay. 10 and 12. And then 11 and 1. Then 10 and 12. And 11... 11 and 1. So freshmen should be the same as the juniors. Sophomores is the seniors. And then we only get freshmen. We only get juniors. We only get sophomores. We only get seniors. That's great. That's so good. Keep it going. Keep it going. My cooks are overworked. My janitors are overworked. Uh, let's get more routing here. We definitely need a new janitor route um, to go here, 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 here. Here, here, and here. Uh, he's just going to crisscross all over this cafeteria, dude. Um, <laughs> and then another a monitor route. Yep, that's good. That's really good. Uh, now, what's my staff look like? How many... I've got five workers, eight janitors, four monitors, six cooks... One counselor, two nurses. I think that's good for now. Yeah, this is working out, everybody. And it will be working out really well just as soon as our transfer students get here. Because this is a problem right now. This is a problem. Do we maybe still not have enough teachers? Um, no, no, we're good, I think. Yeah, I don't know, maybe? Is there a way that I can see if my, uh, my students have, uh, have enough classes? <laughs> Or, like, have enough teachers, if my classrooms have enough teachers. Look at this library. This needs to be made bigger. I think maybe we expand the library out into here would be a good idea. Yeah. But that said, like, this is working, man. This is coming together. And soon I'm going to be making money, I promise. I promise I will be making money soon. Um, not enough lockers for students, that's for sure. 
<laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the end of the day here is 7 p.m., right? Maybe 8 p.m.? 8 p.m.? Looking at getting to 200 students. And we again, we will get there. We will get there. I may have to hire a few more teachers, and that's okay. Because once we get all of our transfer students in, we're going to get a bunch of income. A whole bunch of cash flow. Uh, they're arriving tomorrow. I worry that I got too many students, but you know what? We can fix it. Um, we have transferee. Go away. I need to look at my transfers. 25 added. Um, that brings us up to 60. 60. We're getting too many sophomores is the problem. So transferee are sophomores... We only need 19. Everybody else needs 25, except for juniors who need 31. Great. Great. All right. Uh, we just kind of have to let this day pass. We can't... I mean, we could spend money, but we shouldn't spend money. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it could stand to add some more windows, um, but we'll do that once we're in positive income territory. Now, I think that um, maybe we just like fence in an area back here for recessing and, um, and open that up. I like these common areas, but... Uh, it doesn't seem like we need to add much. Um, I think we could add a t one teacher to every department. I think that's a good idea. Uh, so when we have the money to do that, that's what we'll do. But for now, it's just gonna run, man. It's just gonna run, and it's gonna run efficiently. And, uh, and that's good. Let's see when we get our, our 200 population. After that, I think our next goal is to build, maybe build out the library, and then we'll build a computer lab. Yeah. Yep, yep. Schmurz School for Clods is uh, is raking in the cash, or at least it will be. It will be in just a few short hours. The music's pretty nice in this game as well, I gotta say. They did a good job. And of course it looks great. I mean, it looks like Prison Architect or RimWorld, but it looks great. Delinquent Student has been set straight. Gotta love that. All right, everybody, go home. Go home. Oh yeah. Okay, so what can I, like, set? Um, oh, I can actually see. Yeah, so we got a problem in the junior classrooms here. Hiring, like, one or two more teachers might totally fix it. Um, so let's see what we can do. Uh, it's all right for now, though. We're about to get a ton of cash. Um, but those students will all fail if we're not careful. <laughs> all right. Or maybe we didn't need the classroom because they didn't have enough students. That's probably it. All right, look at this. We're making a ton of money now. We're not making a ton of money now. We haven't gotten our transfer students in. They haven't arrived yet, but they're about to arrive... They're probably arriving now because the game has frozen. There we go. There we go. School expansion complete. Um, we're at 240 students. We're making big money. Making the big bucks. Um, so, this is pretty good. I think we, we hire some teachers now. Um, teachers. Everly Lee. Give me... Yeah. You're... Well, hold on. Um... You're... You're hired, Everly Lee. And, uh, you are gonna, of course, go into the language department. And now, let's look at some more teachers here and see what we got. Um, Don Bolante. 
You're too good at language, man. Everybody's too good at language. All right, Rory Matthew, you're hired, and you are assigned to PE, and you can teach all of them. I think that sounds good. And after that, I think I think that's it. But let's look at the schedule and make sure. Yeah, we've got a teacher for every class. I love it. So, we've we've got a rowdy student. Um. Let's slow it down. I'd like to see what these kids are, are doing. He's going to eat. Um, what are you? You're hanging out? I love it. You're well fed. You, you're you comfortable because you peed. Uh, Robert Kolova. And you seem like an okay... No, you're a terrible student, actually. Uh, all the students are terrible because it's the beginning of a new year. That's the problem. Okay. So... I think we make the library and the computer lab one giant thing. So check it out. If we blueprint and we set it up in this massive room, we can knock down this wall, um, build uh, zones. So if we do a computer lab like this, right? And then the library like this. It's okay to have the library and the computer lab in the same room, right? That makes sense to me. So let's knock this down and uh, let's build out our blue walls and the computer lab. What does it need? Five chairs, five computers, and indoors. So look at the, these ancient computers, dude. So the computer lab doesn't even really need to be that big at this point. Um, I think we get them 10 computers, right? 10 computers. I love it. Um, so the computer lab doesn't need to be that big at all. Great. In that case, I'm going to edit this zone. We're going to remove the zone and, uh, we're going to rezone the computer lab like so. That's great. Good. And then the library can be even bigger. In fact, um, remove that zone. Uh, zone edit library is going to come all the way to like here and then down here. Um, why aren't my workers doing anything right now? There they go. There they go. Okay. Good. So now... Um, go ahead and dismantle everything in the library. Dismantle it all. Take it out of the children's hands and get rid of it. Because we're going to do something different. We are going to take the library. And uh, I like this. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right. Good. And we're going to put the, these chairs in here. Um, there we go. So this is a place where the kids can go to study um, and do their research and, uh, and look into like wombats or whatever other cool animals that they like. Um, and now we need more carpeting. <laughs> Look at all the kids in the computer lab already. This is amazing. Uh, okay. Um, build flooring. Floors. Uh, carpets. What did we give you in the library? Honestly, I don't care what we gave you. Um, we're using teal carpeting for everything in here. All right, now, build up another blue wall right here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this space, but we'll figure something out. Ooh, I hate that. Let's make it a little bigger. <laughs> Floors. Uh, teal carpeting. Teal carpeting. There you go. Great. And the library zone 
can again be removed and can again be added to here and to here. Cool. I think the computer lab could be a little bigger. I think let's uh, edit this zone. We're gonna build a couple more computers. Uh, remove the zone. Computer lab goes out to here now. And the library goes out to here and here and here. All right. Computer lab. Get yourself two more computers and two more chairs. Oh, our school spares no expense, ladies and gentlemen. Our school spares no expense. Um objects now for the library so we want to make the actual library area now um no not there uh one down i do think no no, 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 no. <laughs> I think it's gotta be... Oh my God, day is over, but we're getting a little bit of money. We're good, we're good. We're not getting much money, but we're getting a little bit of money. Um, so we got bookshelves like that, and then we got bookshelves like this. Yeah, that's nice. Now, more tables where the students can do their studying. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we're doing it right. This is now a very nice library slash computer lab where children can come to learn, where children can relax and read their favorite children's books. Oh, that's good. This is a nice space now. It's a very nice space. I like it. Okay. And the kids are reading books. They're all going to the library. They're on computers and reading. Oh, look at them, man. Look at them. Happy chitlins. Happy chitlins. Okay. Great. Now. Um, this can just be another classroom. It's probably the perfect size. Uh, I love this. My school is looking like a high-quality school. And the cafeteria is running smoothly. We're making, we're back to making the big bucks. Um, we have 14 amazing teachers and a single principal. Um, okay, so I think now we need a hallway, clearly. Clearly we're gonna need a hallway here. So let's build some more floors, some checkerboard floors. And we're gonna make this hallway four wide um, so we can fit in more lockers. Um, All right, cool. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put walls up here, right? No, no. Walls, blue walls. One here, one here, one here, one here, and then all the way across the top. All right, Ooh. what are we looking at income wise? Computational power. We've got a computer lab. We're done with it. Arts and crafts. We can build an art room now. Okay. Um, so maybe that's what this could be. Um, and we could actually have an entrance from the hallway and into the library. So that when students are trying to art and they're like, I want to make a giraffe out of clay. Um, but I don't, I need, I need a reference to make my giraffe. Then they can just pop into the library and find a giraffe book and have their pictures, and yeah, this is perfect. Okay, now I'll tell you what I'm certain of, is that um, art rooms have concrete floors. That's a fact, an undeniable fact. Um, so let's get a regular door here. Uh, and we want it in the hall, like so. And then another door here. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna need our concrete floors back. Bam, bam. All right, now, zones. Art room, get zoned. 
And in the art room, you need five easels, an art shelf, a chalkboard, and it has to be indoors. Objects, art room. Five easels and an art shelf. Um, here we go. The art shelves will be across the back wall here. I love it. The chalkboard can go, like, here? Yeah, right there. And then five easels, but we're going to have more than five easels. Of course, of course he finished it freaking instantly. Um, dismantle this easel, please, and then build more concrete tile. All right, so we've got 12 easels, in fact, uh, in front of that chalkboard, and that's a nice looking art room, I gotta say. I gotta say. Cool, okay. Um, our arts and crafts studio is amazing. Um, are we, oh, we haven't even applied. We're done. We've applied and we're done. And we've pretty much finished all the grants that are available in this game. No theater class. I know, Zeke. It's upsetting. These criminals need a yard for yard time. <laughs> Let's make them a yard. Yeah, they've got this common area and it's not good enough. Um, so... Let's get some doors. Um, doors. We want a double door here. And a double door here. Good. And I don't think that we need a door here. Um, can you please dismantle this door? Or do you have to demolish the door? Um, dismantle that double door. We don't need one there. It's a hallway. And we are going... I'm going to put the yard... I'm gonna put the yard over here for them to play in. Um, so here's what we do. We're gonna build some fences. And now they'll finally have to come in through the front door, which makes me really, really happy. Um, and then all we need to do is set this as a common area, zones, um, is there not, like, a recess area that you can set it to where you don't have to have tables? Uh, I guess not. So, give me the common room, or common area. Good. And all this common, this common area needs uh, is a few chairs. A few tables and chairs. Um, but we'll get some other stuff going out here to make it nice. Common area. Tables. Um, so we'll have a table there, like, um, a table here. Perfect. And of course they are going to need chairs, so let's get that set up. And, uh, we're still doing really great on money. Um, we're making over a thousand bucks a day. And this is going to really clean up a lot of, uh, a lot of this recess space stuff. Um, great. Common area complete. Now, that said, we are going to have ourselves some trash cans here. Um, and we're also going to have ourselves some drinking fountains. Some water fountains. Objects. All. Water fountains. And the water fountains can go, like, down here. Yeah, look at them. They're already out here playing, man. It's awesome. Uh, we can even put a vending machine out here. Um, we'll put them in between the water fountains. Sure. And then... Let's see. The staff lounge could really use um, a couple of windows, huh? Uh, let's get him a big window big window right here and let's get him a big window right here okay more windows for these people uh rotate please one uh here 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 and here and then likewise for this cafeteria they could definitely use some windows
Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Um, cool. All right. Common area ready. And, dude, the school is running so smoothly. How come they haven't finished this art room yet? Dude, they did finish it. Why can't I see into the art room, I guess, is the question. Oh, they haven't built the floors yet. <laughs> they haven't finished building the floors. Are my workers still doing stuff that they can't do this? Or are they just hanging out? They are. They're just hanging out in the staff lounge, the jerks. Um, okay. Build floors concrete right here. Off you go, workers. Thank you. There you go. Now they're finishing up. Lazy bastards. Um, and we can also uh, dismantle this extra art table, I think. Go on, workers. Send one out. Send one out. Workers. Workers. Please dismantle. Thank you for the love. Um, all right. And go ahead and dismantle this as well, please. And then we'll put up another... Um, another art... Uh, art jobber. Another art jobber. Another art shelf. Um, see, why? Why? Okay. Um, can you please build a concrete tile right here? And then you can put in the freaking art shelf. Thank you. Good lord. My idiot workers are causing major problems for me. I don't like it. I'm upset by it, in fact. Uh, floors. We need a concrete tile right here. Um... And this is nice, dude. Look at this. We're running smoothly. We're profitable, but not too profitable. We could be more profitable, that's for sure. Um, okay. So the next step is, um, like a bigger senior class, probably. We make the senior class, uh, like double the size. Um, so I build two more classrooms. I make them both senior classrooms. So we get more senior transfers every year. Um, cause we can't have, we can't take freshmen and we don't have space. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is working, dude. We've got, we've got everything. We've got it all. Um, but we're going to need more of all of it. So like this will end up being kind of feel like we need to expand this cafeteria. But if it's just freshmen here, hmm. Hmm. So we're looking to get to 300 students. We can do that pretty easily. Um, and I think right here is a great spot for the junior classrooms. What's gonna happen is, um, why are these carpets wrong? Why are these carpets wrong? That should be blue. And uh, sophomore, I believe, is purple. So that should be purple. And then these should be red. And these should be red. There we go. So if I make this hallway up here the junior classrooms, right? I can give them uh, some more bathrooms over here, some nice big bathrooms. Then this will be the sophomore area. This will be the freshman area, junior area. And then all I have to do is build a, a senior area, area and we're in good shape. But for now, everybody, we're gonna end this video. So thank you so much for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I will see you next time. I can't wait to play more Academia School Simulator, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.